correctly. So uh, Jacob's going to his Pokemon Trainer, Pichu. And uh, I'm not sure who he's locked into just yet, but we got Raffi with the Mario and the Bowser. Pikachu, Pichu, and Pokemon Trainer. We got the all Pokemon squad. Actually adds up to six Pokemon, so he definitely is using the Pokemon Trainer to the fullest right here. If you look at it. It's five. Five Pokemon. Wait, I can't count. I'm dumb. <laughs> so listen to me. <laughs> 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 All right, but we got the the Mario Bros trio here: Mario, Bowser, and Bowser Jr. Oh, sorry, Lemmy. Is that Lemmy? That's Lemmy, right? Lenny, Lemmy, Lemmings. I, I think that's Lenny. All right, it's not. It's not Lenny. It's Lemmy. It's all right. So let's see what happens here. I haven't seen uh, Jacob's Pichu, but I do know he's a very accomplished Pikachu main in SoCal. I want to say the best one in SoCal for quite a bit. And now, uh, Pichu isn't, like, if you're good Pikachu, you probably have a pretty decent Pichu. And we've been seeing this character run amok for quite some time in SoCal, thanks to Eon and Boyd. If you guys saw SoCal Chronicles this past weekend, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, right now, man, UCI Re Raffi, representing UC Irvine, he's putting the work to the uh, Jacob Pichu right here. He's going to have to turn it up. It's interesting to see how many people use uh, Bowser Jr. in SoCal. Seems like such a off meta type character that you wouldn't expect so many people to use him, but a lot of people in SoCal like this character and have pretty good results with him. Going all the way back from Smash 4. But right now, let's see. Let's see what's going to uh, go down here for Jacob. Oh, up to, up air into the, the Thunder. That was really pop. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, you were doing so well, and then you got hit out of your jump. Yikes. Now Jacob has an opportunity to get work with his stock lead, and he's trying to get the lightning loops done. Really difficult to do on a platform stage, but I respect the attempt. Jacob, working with this lead tremendously right now. This is really good. Oh, until he jumps to that up smash. 53% and a stock taking. Not too bad for Pichu's uh, run there, but now we got Pokemon Trainer, which is kind of unfair in Squad Strike, because like, you get to switch between like three characters when you're only supposed to have one extra stock with one character. But we don't, we don't talk about that. Personally, I feel like uh, right now, Pokemon Trainer is Jacob's uh, best character that I've seen him play so far. So uh, this this could be really good for him. I like, I like the order that he chose to you know rock with Pichu, Pokemon Trainer, and then clutch it out with the Pikachu in uh, the last anchor spot if he needs to. Let's see what Rafi can do, though. He's, uh, he's behind in percent, but I still think he's... Uh, he has a good opportunity. 52% with Ivysaur. Really easy to get a, a combo character if he's on point. Nice. Oh, I thought he would jump there. If you like called out that jump, he definitely would have gone for it. But oh, Charizard's here. That means he's trying to kill, and yes, you know, he gets the kill. That's exactly what he wanted. Literally, got, she went Charizard just to get the kill, and then switched immediately to Squirtle when Bowser came out. Oh, dang, this is why you want to switch to Squirtle. Yikes, took so much damage from those up airs. Bowser a big body, but no, not even the platform is going to help. Man. All right. I like the Bowser anchor, honestly, because he's such a bruiser that he can live a very long time and uh, kill really early. So it's fine if he's, like, taking a lot of damage from both the characters. But, oh, I forgot about this. The final smash meter is on. Jacob gets rewarded for getting hit. Triple finish. Oh, the whiff punish. Get him out of here. Millions dead. Hyper finish. But wait, he's alive. You think Bowser lives that? I'm a little surprised. Alright. Maybe Ravi can make, bring this back, dude. Pikachu's pretty light. And he almost has his meter pulled, uh, built up. Uh, he does need to get Pikachu to 100% in order for him to automatically die to the final smash, though. Otherwise, it just does pretty decent knockback. Oh, until you roll right into it. Wait, we live in those big boys. Man, these are heavy characters. Okay, we got the, the command girl off the top platform. 59%. Final smash meter is coming very soon. There it is. All right, we need it. Yeah, he gets to transform. Let's see if he can make something happen here. How long is he going to be able to stay transformed and make this happen? Oh, my goodness. Dead. The comeback, thanks to the final smash meter <laughs> coming in clutch. Raffi. <laughs> Raffi literally steals that game. Wait, what? The hell? Wasn't Jacob winning? Yeah, he was until he uh, got hit by that Bowser final smash, bro. <laughs> he got meters on, man. 
You're right. You're right. That was hype. What a comeback. Dang, Jacob actually got completely uh, robbed there. His foul smash didn't even kill, but he gets his foul smash and definitely, like, blows him up. All right, we got a character roster switch here from uh, Rafi taking out that Bowser Jr. That definitely, uh, definitely wasn't a good look in the previous game, but we got K-Roll now. Mario and the, the baddies, the bad guys, the villains. I like it. I like this lineup. Jacob, I'm not sure if he changed the order here. No, it's, yeah, this time you anchor uh, Pokemon Trainer. So it's like his order now is... I can't tell. I can't tell what order Jacob's cutting is already. But we got the final... Or sorry, the Fountain of Dreams Battlefield Omega here. I love this game. Raffi, though, is still going to town, man. He doesn't care what character or roster that Jacob works with. Really good Mario combos right here. Oh, that cape. Texas. Nice. Caught the roll in with the S smash, and now Ivysaur is here to play. Free hit here. Oh, he doesn't cover the drift, but he's going to throw him off stage. Let's see what he can do. How's Raffi going to get off the edge? Jump gets called out. That up air hitbox is insanely big. K rolls out here to play now. Let's see if he can do something. To get this Ivysaur Pokemon Trainer stock out of here. Down throw. No, doesn't cover that. But I like the idea. They're trying to cover the jump from the very animation with the forward air. Oh, he's trying to avoid getting sucked into the blunderbuss. But he gets the combo. Wow. Was that Razor Leaf in the final smash? That looks sick. Oh. Wow. That was actually so fortunate for Raffi to avoid getting that. Uh, they're going to hit there because it looked like they have covered the roll, but just barely missed. But Pichu's out. Pichu versus K roll seems really difficult, man. He's so big. So easy to combo. As you can see. But whoa, the counter on the down with the down B on the Thunder. That was actually super smart from Rafi. Now the saving grace is he's at kill percent. Pichu that is. So if uh, Rafi plays his cards right. Oh my goodness, he actually almost got found smash again, and then he died. Bowser's out now. Bowser also going to be a character that gets heavily comboed. But he can kill like no one's business. So uh, Jacob's got to be careful. Sorry, Sweet. I guess that's the tag he goes by now. Sweet. With uh, two twos. Ooh, goes deep with the forward air, but now he has to deal with the evolved Pichu. Last stock here for Raffi. Last time he was able to completely rob this uh, Pikachu out of a stock with that final smash. Jacob's going to have to make sure he gets rid of his Bowser stock before that becomes a problem. Almost has the full meter, too. It won't be long. Nice parry into the down tilt. Keeping him pressured at the edge. Oh, man. Nice, another one. Pikachu definitely at kill percent. Oh! Gotta be careful. This Bowser is terrifying. Nice scoop. Oh my goodness. Barely lives, but the final smash is coming. Almost has enough meter. Oh, it's it. He's gonna transform Jacob in the same situation as last time. What does he do? How does he avoid this? He goes super deep, but it doesn't even matter. He tries to retreat to the ledge with some invincibility, but he just doesn't give.